As the world prepares itself uh, to honor women across the globe for International Women's Day, the hip hop fraternity has embarked on a journey of celebrating women across the continent by facilitating the biggest ever female collaboration from the motherland. The aim is to showcase the power when women stand together and fortify unity through music. So the group partnered with an ensemble of five heavyweight female rappers and boldly remixed hip hop royalties Queen Latifah's popular 90s anthem, Remember This? You UNITY, <laughs> South Africa, Tanzania and Nigeria were collectively united to do the remix uh, with the likes of Moosley and many others. So let's uh, find out more. No Moosley Mabena, affectionately known as Moosley, joins me live in the studio. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. It Thanks sounds like me. an exciting collaboration. Tell us who's on the track and how did this come about? You know, at any time, Castle Light partners up with a whole lot of females, we make history. You yeah. know, last year we did Hip Hop Her Story, which was the first time that females headlined a hip hop concert. And we decided to keep the energy in 2019 by all collaborating to do a remix of Queen Latifah's legendary song, yeah. UNITY. Because I think as a brand and as artists, we understand that there's such a, a power in the unity of women. Mm -hmm. And I think especially in hip hop, where we are kind of sidelined because we are girls, we wanted to take back our power yeah. and spread it the best way we know how through mm -hmm. the music so this is a really exciting collaboration so which other artists are involved here so representing south africa we've got the best female in the game that would be <laughs> me then we've also got gigi lemaine and rouge and then from nigeria we have got miss kiss and yeah. from tanzania we've got rosalie yeah. so we're taking this all across the continent yeah, it's really definitely. crazy let's look at the song and, and why you picked queen latifah's i mean uh you and it white it's a powerful pro women statement isn't mm. it do you think it still resonates today I feel like it's more relevant today than it has ever been and I don't think Queen Latifah probably knew that it would be that impactful going forward but if we look at some of the issues that we are faced with as women not only in Africa but around the world you know the things that she's talking about in that song although they sometimes come across a bit hard and aggressive they're totally relevant so for us as women especially as female artists we just thought how's about putting a modern twist on it because this yeah. is definitely a story that still needs to be mm -hmm. told. Look uh, f part of the the lyrics is is very poignant isn't it and I remember she was in a car getting beat up while her child was watching. Yeah. And, and it talks about, you know, I was too blind to see how it was affecting me. All I, that I knew is that you was all the man I had. I was scared to let you go, even though you treated me bad. Yeah. Is this how women react to a situation when they're in a relationship, in an in a abusive relationship? Is that why they stay? I, you know what, women are the people that always hold things together and a lot of the time they put their own feelings aside. You know, sometimes whether you're holding a family together or a business together, you don't want to be the person that makes it all fall apart. So sometimes we take on burdens and stresses that we don't necessarily need to. And I think we've been able to see in this country just yeah. over the last week how complicated situations mm. can be for women but ultimately it's just important to spread a message that it doesn't matter how complicated your situation is your life is way more yeah. important than your situation is so we just want to kind of shine some light on our situation especially in this country because yeah. over the last year it's just been so difficult to mm. just hear mm. case after case story after story about how young women are getting killed or abused by their partners yeah. which is really really sad so um, we just wanted to celebrate that we have this strength we have this power yeah. and just kind of take it back a little bit because the strength that we have as women is sometimes what gets us into trouble yeah. with the people that should be protecting mm -hmm. us. So we want to celebrate that power, we want to celebrate that strength and let all the women know out there that we are with them. I want to pick your brain more about this and other current issues, but as you know, we're traveling across the country. It's lots of events happening for International Women's Day. Just stand by. I want to take you now to KwaZulu Natal. The 2019 Forbes Africa Women Leading Women Summit is underway in Durban, KwaZulu Natal. The summit is being attended by influential women in business, sports, science, entertainment, and leadership. Let's go now live to the Nkosi Albert Lutuli International Convention Center, where the event is currently, and we'll just listen in for a bit. They appreciate it, but also that they are role models for all of us. Because as a woman, you have role models who are older than you, who are younger than you. And we want to say this day brings us together and we celebrate. But of course, it's also a day of reflection because there is a lot that still needs to be done. We are not there yet. But amongst the women we celebrate, I think we should celebrate all women. 
because every woman here in the world has brought or brought up and nurtured all the great women we are talking about, but also all the great men. They wouldn't exist if women didn't ensure that they come to this earth, they look after them, they nurture them to the great men and women that they become. So I think every woman needs celebration. And we must reflect on how much more still needs to be done. How can we make sure that there's no woman who has the agony of hearing a child crying, a child that's hungry and she has nothing to give her? And to reflect on how we can ensure that there's no woman who lives in a shack and prays every day that when the rain comes, it doesn't sweep her away or it doesn't flood the shack. We have to reflect on how can we ensure that women are not sitting and thinking, am I going to be beaten up today or not? Am I going to survive till the next day? Mm -hmm. Will I be alive tomorrow? So we have to reflect on how women can be empowered to ensure that the, the land they have or they are given land to be in agriculture, to be in the value chains, to be big and to be independent economically, sure. to have their dignity and their self-esteem. Women in the academ academia, how many of our institutions are, are led by women? How sure. many young people can see women professors at their universities? How many people can have confidence in our judiciary because they can see that there are women there at the top of that pyramid. So I think that's why I say for me, it's a day of celebration, but also a day of reflection. I do want us to touch on that element regarding reflection, Minister, because you've highlighted a variety of points that certainly do need to be addressed. And many of us here as role players in the room do have a certain level of influence with regard to uh, influence that we can play in changing, in changing this agenda with regard to gender parity. It's well documented that it will take decades on decades to actually reach sustainable levels of gender parity within corporate spaces across the globe. But where do you think we are lacking with regard to the elements you mentioned regarding building confidence within women, enhancing the academic qualifications, and of course uplifting them with skills? Where is it that we are lacking in uh, bolstering this move to attain gender par parity, especially on the African continent? Well, I think, first of all, we have to ensure that the policies are there in place. We have to make sure that women themselves are organized because the people who make decisions at the moment are not mainly women, they are men. But if women are organized, they can influence those decisions. Whether they are organized in political parties, uh, where they can then go to parliament, go to government, go to all the arms of state to make those, that influence come to bear. We can also influence the corporate world. I think one of the things that I feel we have not really used is the strength of our numbers mm -hmm. and the strength of our little but collectively we are big in terms of being consumers. Yes. Um, I hope a day will come when women will say we're not going to buy that product unless you can tell us where women are in your company. A collective effort. But we can only do that if we... Okay, are you're watching visuals from the Forbes Women Summit happening at the Nkosi Alban Stuli International Convention Centre in Durban, KwaZulu-Natal. It's a major event. It's uh, 
Oh, build as a, a mega function happening. They're celebrating women and inspiring women, not only from South Africa, but from around the continent and around the world. That was Nkosa Zan at Lamini Zuma speaking there at the Forbes Women's Summit. And we also understand that uh, another speaker, the former supermodel, or current supermodel, if you want, an activist, Naomi Campbell, will be uh, another speaker there. So stay tuned to SABC News. So we'll dip in and out of that very, very important address. Mosley is still with me in the studio. Thank you very much indeed for sticking around. Oh, We're talking about uh, your collaboration with regards to this remix of Queen Latifah's music. But I wanted to find out from you with regards to International Women's Day. And personally, what does it mean for you? I think I, I really like how Nkosa Zanatlamini put it. She said, it's a day of celebration, but it's also a day of reflection. And I think for us, as much as we as a country are so often forced to reflect on the importance of women in our society, we very rarely celebrate that because yeah. most of the time we are mourning the women in our society. So for me, I really just want to use this day to celebrate the power that women have and just to kind of get that power back and just say to ourselves, let's continue this energy going forward. Let's not just treat this like it's a one day thing. Yeah. It's something that we need to remember every single day. Yeah. And music is such an important tool, not only to, to convey a specific message, but to fight social ills, isn't it? How do you think music can be used in a positive way? You, music can communicate in ways that sometimes people don't understand. We've seen music heal people with mental illnesses, even sometimes with physical illnesses. You know, yeah. we're able to communicate with with music in such incredible ways. So there's, there's a pain on the inside of us that I think we all need to heal. And hopefully that the power of music will be able to do that. Yeah. And so many times we've seen people being able to just you know, interact with one another and understand each other on a different level simply yeah. because they like the same artist or they like the same song. So hopefully we can use music to do the same thing on this day. What about social media? It can be used as a positive and negative tool, isn't it? I mean, you were part of this VW Drive Dry campaign. You took a bit of stick, but I mean, there were people that were supporting it as, you know, it's, it's hard hitting, it, it's, it's in your face and maybe it gets the message across. It can, as, as we say, you know, used for good and bad. We saw uh, violent videos uh, going viral. We, we know of an incident where we saw uh, Babes Woduma in Mampincha. What's your opinion with regards to this? I think because I was a part of the VW Drive Fly campaign, I definitely saw the power of social media. Um, more than anything, it, it was able to highlight the issues. Mine was reckless driving, and I think in the situation of babes and Mabinja, it's domestic violence. But I think more than anything, it also highlights kind of a weird culture of bashing that we have on social media, you know? A lot of the time people are open to receiving information that sometimes can require them to reflect on themselves, to reflect on their situations. And a lot of the time they can just be mean, you know? Trolling is such a real thing mm -hmm. on our social media. And it's, it, it's really sad because we are finally able to communicate as one. And I often wish that the messages would be more positive as opposed to bashing. And I really hope that through situations like this through my campaign yeah. as well we'll be able to change these sentiments but it's difficult yeah. you know it's very difficult especially for young people i think more than anything it's so important to make sure you are opening up your mind to the right things don't just yeah. take things in because they're on social media we're fast running out of time but thank you very much indeed for your time and all the best in your collaboration Thanks and your for having me get the track guys it's <laughs> out right now myself Gigi Lemain, this Kiss, Rosalie is really, really dope. All the best. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks Moosley. For me. Yeah. Happy Women's Day. That was a musician, Nomuzi Mabena, also known as Moosley, talking to us with regards to the latest uh, collaboration. Wish her all the best.